Good morning, my friends, and welcome to an all new experience. Our wonderful sponsors, Micro Center, are new and improved. Have you seen this? It's like a brand new store in here. There's a tech bar. There's your find product fast sign. This is like bigger than the old store by itself. Today, we are going to be building the bluest gaming PC we can to help celebrate the launch of the brand new Tustin Micro Center location, or the relaunch. It's very different in here. There are a lot of new things here in this store. Not only is the actual store itself bigger, but this is the concept store for Micro Center. So this is the store of the future. And because of that, not only do they have a bunch of big deals on products, including these Samsung Chromebooks, which if you come in store while they still last, are only 50 bucks each. What? $180 off. Oh, that's uh, a, that might be the cheapest Chromebook I've seen at retail. Yes, I think that's what the kids call the, the door buster. Limit one per customer. You're but, not a customer. You're a freeloader. Look at the SSDs! Oh, it's just the, oh my god, Ken! It's like 120 bucks. <laughs> They've got the new 4K Apple TVs for 80 bucks and 100 bucks. Dude, yeah, they're, they're, wow, they're serious about this grand opening. <laughs> we're recording this on November 9th. So we we gotta get this video up ASAP because this stuff's gonna go fast. Let me one per customer. I don't think people realize how much is in this store available at your friendly local Tustin Micro Center. No, Ken, you can't take advantage of any, no, 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 no. You can't take advantage of any of the deals. Just look, we gotta build a PC. Do you see these ceilings? I don't know where these came from. Apparently they were there the whole time. I'm scouting, not only for this video, but for future episodes of Broke vs. Pro, so I know kind of what to expect. I gotta have my advantage. Look at all the filament. Whoa, this is all this 3D is printing filament. stuff? I'm still lost. I actually don't know where I'm going. We gotta get stuck. Look, we gotta, we gotta stay focused, not get distracted by the deals and the new store. We found the MP3 player section. Wow, it's an actual MP3 player section. I thought they were kidding. You ready for your clip sport go? Those things are actually really good though. Are they really? Yeah, they're, they're, they can play like flax and stuff. Look at all the Unifans. Look at the Noctuas. The Hyper 2, look how many Hyper 2 trials they have. Look at all the fittings. Beautiful. Look at this. They, they've got all the new stuff. All the new 12th gen i5s, i5s, i7s, i9s. Look at this. Yo, they've got the 5600G. I haven't even seen one of these yet. Okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna build something with that. All right, all right. Dude, look at the lighting too. It's like they updated the store just to make our videos look better. <gasps> oh my god. These are all 6900 XTs. Wait, these are, wait, all they have- All of these whoa, are 60. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What? There's probably like over 100 6900 XTs on these shelves right now. Yep, 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 yep. Dude, they've got everything. With this much stock, it actually might last a little bit. But like, I haven't seen this many graphics cards since 2017. And that brings us perfectly to the build your own section, which I feel like we've kind of already been walking through a little bit. So not only do they have the actual bar where they will actually build a PC for you, but it keeps going back here. Have you seen the chassis garage? So of course, the most important component when you're building the bluest gaming PC is to find the bluest case. And I think it's gonna be hard to go wrong with the O11 Dynamic in dynamic blue. So I think what we should do is we should focus on trying to find components that are neutral color or blue, or have RGB, as if there weren't enough reasons to come in to your friendly local micro center, in addition to all of the crazy deals they've got going on, is they also have a promotion right now where if you check out the link in the description and sign up, if you go in store next time, you get a coupon to get a free 240 gig SSD for free. Which, as you can see, they have plenty of. <laughs> All right, so next up we have the Core i9-12900K, which, side note, just comes in some very cool packaging. Look, look at this. Oh, it's like a replica wafer. I know. So this is our first time doing any kind of Intel 12th gen build. Now, something I know about this, it's obviously a very powerful chip, but we also wanna make sure that we properly cool it. So for a board, obviously we need to go with one of the Z690s. I kinda lean toward the black, the carbon, so I feel like that's gonna fit in better with the look of the case. So one thing you should consider when you're building a 12th gen Intel sort of build is that different boards will support either DDR4 or DDR5. So there are advantages to both. DDR4 is cheaper and a little bit easier to get your hands on. DDR5 will give you the best performance. And since we're going with the bluest, the ultimate Intel build, we might as well go with a board that supports full DDR5. Let's find a GPU. Oh, uh, 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 I can do it, I can do it, just believe. Austin. Yeah. 
fix your mess. You, you just move their sign. Move it back. Okay, fine. Let me move my cart through. All right. 3060s, 3080s. I mean, dude, we can do the 3080 TIs. Wait, let's see if we can find a 3090. 3090. Whoa. Okay, I feel like that's the move. Yes. The Dominator Plat. It's the black colorway again, which I think is important, but also we have the full RGB array yeah. on the top. 1,200 watts? I need a lot of power. If we're building the ultimate system, there's one ultimate SSD. That's the move. 980 Pro. Now, we need to really focus on, oh, look, they've got the coolers right there. <laughs> All right, so big reason why I want to go with the Lian Lee Galahad is the fact that this is going to support the new socket on these 12th gen chips. So if you look at the motherboard, unlike Intel processors for a long time, the physical socket size is now larger, which means that older coolers, basically all coolers that exist right now, will not work out of the box. So that's something to consider. Most companies are offering some upgrades, so they'll just sell you or they'll just like ship you like the actual like adapter plate or something to make their coolers work. This is exactly what we need because this will allow us to use our Galahad cooler on our LGA 1700 socket. Let's start paying attention to the aesthetic. So this is actually our first time doing a build with the Stremmers. So these aren't totally different than something like these sleeved extensions that we typically use. The big difference is, is that these will actually give us full RGB. So essentially the cables that are running from our power supply into our graphics card, and maybe, we'll see if we can find some more, but at least we'll have them into our graphics card, will be fully RGB-ified. I think we'll be in pretty good shape to make this thing super blue. All right, my friends, it's time to get to building. I'm gonna run you over with the cart, but it's fine. What is? <laughs> oh, you didn't see? You didn't see what we're building today? We're building the bluest game piece. Um, blue. The bluest? Yeah. Like, like the color blue, or like? You act like you don't know what we're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're, Jared, no one said act. You'll be like the bluest. You mean what like the, the color blue? Blue? <laughs> I don't know what As blue is, dude. Oh my. oh my god. So I almost want to prioritize today getting this thing, even if we don't cable manage it very well, just like somewhat up and running, so we can then start spending time tuning and making sure that everything is actually gonna be functional. I also have my secret weapon, but we're gonna use that later. All right. Secret, what? Don't worry about it. Okay, so. Oh man, that is. Look at that. Hello, welcome to Tech Tech Potato. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Yo. Yeah, this is very good looking. Oh, oh wow. wait, actually, this is a slight problem. That's a much darker blue than I thought it was gonna be. Uh. No, but it's it fine. matches. It's Intel blue. That's Dude, not the same. But straight that, up. That works we take fine. The, we cut oh. part off the box and we use it. Now I'm actually excited. I wasn't excited before. Now I am. One of the other things they don't know about is what the actual um, RGB on the motherboard looks like. But that is a very high-end board. So I'm assuming that it will be comprehensive. Oh, wow. Actually, this is my first time seeing 1700 and... It's pretty chonky. Wait, why does it say LJ 1700 and 1800? Is 1800 a thing? Did they accidentally leak the next generation of Intel processors? Intel 17th gen leaked, confirmed right now. How do you actually take this apart? It's, he's I'm, gonna, he's gonna drop me. the CPU. You're wearing LTT merch, you don't get to touch anything. What do you mean? Look, you're, you're a it, father and you can't open this box. You're imbued by the power of Linus. Oh my God, I'm a Jared! Supporter. <laughs> Jared! Very comfortable. What is wrong with Very you? Very comfortable. Oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna have to start making merch just so you stop wearing this. So this is the Core i9-12900K. Do you want to do the honors? I feel like you're ready. Should we look up a video on how 12? No, works? no, we're we're supposed to be making the video on teaching people how to do this. We're uh, experts. We first, know what we're doing. It's our first and last time. <laughs> <laughs> I do All not right. like how our laughs were perfectly synced then. <laughs> do you even read the manual? Why would I? Do you read the manual? <laughs> no, I read it on tech.com. Look at this. This is some next level shot right here. This is the POV. This is some X game stuff. This carbon fiber looks absolutely sick. What I've never seen before is this PCI slot. It actually has two sides to the thermal pads. So if you're using something, which actually to be fair, the 980 Pro is not super inefficient, but if you're using like a super power hungry SSD, oops. Uh, well, okay, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, it'll keep it cool on both sides, which is nice. This thermal pad feels like slime. That's every thermal pad. Oh, Why did no. you immediately go to sniff it? That is not the appropriate response when something is slimy. So for the strimmers, I always hate saying the word strimmer. I thought it was strimer. Is it strimer, not strimmer? That's what I always pronounce it as. Oh God, strimmer! It is strimmer. Yeah, but do we trust Bitwit? I think I that trust question Bitwit. you had in the beginning is a very good question. I trust Bitwit implicitly. Let's call Linus. 
It's gonna be some Canadian. We like, gotta get that Canadian he's like, accent. He's like, oh, it's the streamer, eh? <laughs> Party, wow. har, har, I'm Linus. These are RGB cables in essence, but because they have to run light, mm -hmm. um, they're also very, very stiff. So doing the cable runs yeah. will require a little bit of finesse. Holy, it's, it's two. Wait, what? what? In the side, thank you for not adding five more 810s. What? So that actually is gonna make our cable runs easier because we only need to run two of the Stremmers. Yeah. I mean, actually we need to run four. Yes. Oh, you have, Wait, four. So we are trying to build the bluest gaming PC, right? We've got an Intel processor, blue case, but also we have to acknowledge that we're using a team green graphics card, an NVIDIA graphics card, um, which doesn't seem fair. It doesn't really seem like the way to do it. So I would propose we build the RGB gaming PC, Intel blue team processor, NVIDIA green team graphics card, and an AMD blue graphics card. Oh, this, oh my. <laughs> Look, uh, so wait, 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 it's wait. blue, We're it's using blue. team red in order to get blue in our PC? Wait, that doesn't but, just. Okay, no, no, but okay, but, but here, mount, here, mount, it's here, great. Mount, it's great. Mount, look, yo, come around here, come around here. Yo, look, look, look at the blue. Look, 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 that that actually. Oh, yo, wait a minute. Yeah, okay, you might be onto something. Is it strictly necessary? Probably not. Is it gonna give us some headaches and in installing both AMD and NVIDIA drivers on the same system? Maybe, but. Uh, it's the bluest graphics card that I've ever seen in my life, and so uh, we'll use it for 3D video model rendered gaming. And then we'll use the 3090 for everything. So how's it going? Oh, uh, it's going well. I'm trying to hook up all of these fan cables, and this is, uh, this is actually kind of, what did I, did I break it? So the cool thing about these uh, Lee and Lee uni fans is that they just kind of nest together like this, which not only just makes it really convenient to mount them into a case, but also you can daisy chain all the cabling and connect them onto the included hub if you buy the set of them. So this is probably the least amount of cable management will have to do for not only powering fans, but also doing RGB. As of right now, we're gonna be using the Stremmers for our PCI power, but we're gonna use these blue extensions, which also are a very nice shade of blue, for our 20 plus four pen and our CPU. Is this your first time <laughs> applying thermal paste? You've done this before. What's thermal paste? X is the move. Especially this is a bigger, this is a bigger chip. We wanna do X. Oh my God. Well, okay, okay, okay. Well, then, that corner's the hot corner anyway. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Poor guy's worried about the, the comments. Right? Yeah, yeah, those are the performance cores. See, okay. Actually, no, no, no. That is fine. That is fine. The thing is, uh, when you put the thing on the thing, it goes squish out like the thing. Those okay. are the words of, prof of a professional, ladies and gentlemen. So we are making progress. We have our carbon board installed. We have the SSD installed. We have our two DIMMs. We have our cooler. We have the actual radiator installed and we're starting to put together our cable management, which we still don't know exactly if we have the right cables, but I think we almost have to start plugging things in to see. But uh, the good thing is we can start installing things like our graphics card. This is not a joke, he's trying his best. Stop whispering into the <laughs> mic, Jared. All right, there we go. That blue looks really sick. I mean. I think AMD did Intel blue better than Intel did. You know what? Facts. Bad things may happen, but it's fine. We didn't say we're gonna build the best PC, we're just gonna build the bluest one. I'm blue. All right, let's just get to work. So today we start off day two with a little bit of a problem. So we spent a lot of oh the end of yesterday <laughs> and a lot of this morning trying to figure out our RGB situation. Now as you guys remember, we're trying to build the bluest PC possible, which means- I'm literally wearing he's, blue he's for wearing, that reason. Yes, Austin is wearing his blue shirt. The only things that we can't get blue are the RGBs. Now- <laughs> Well, you mean everything. <laughs> yes. We have our MSI motherboard here and it works totally fine. Um, we have Windows 11 up and running. We ran some apps. We were doing some benchmarks. Everything works totally well, except for MSI Dragon Center, which might be having some problems with the fact that this is just a brand new kind of system altogether, Z690. There might be some software issues that are not allowing us to do what we need with RGB. Most importantly, we cannot even change the motherboard RGB to just B. Now I can just flip that on and off on the board. What I cannot do is change it in any meaningful yeah. way. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna swap our motherboard out. 
If we wanted to spend all day, we can probably find some way of using a chain of adapters to try to get things to talk to each other. But we have so many different things, and even if we do all of that, we're likely not going to be able to get the motherboard RGB to work. So in the interest of building the bluest gaming PC down to my shoes. <clears throat> that, that we can build today. Yes, that we can build today. We're going to swap out the board with, thankfully, we have one other Z690 in the office. Look. Uh, when it comes to building high-end gaming PCs, uh, sometimes improvisation, improvisation, improvisation. And so, my friends, after what was a very long day, the PC is almost done. And um, I gotta say, it's looking pretty blue. So, we've made a lot of modifications over the last day. I'm pretty happy with that! I mean, we haven't finished cable management. If you look around to the backside, it is literally Garbage Town Central, but it's fine. We'll clean that up. Um, there's a lot, a lot of, of junk in that trunk. Hey. Right now, we are working with, I think, four different RGB suites. We have our SL fans over here, our Unifans, that are working off of the Lee and Lee software. We have our AIO and our top three Lee and Lee um, AIO fans going into the board. RGB, which is run by RGB Fusion. Our graphics card is running off of the MSI Center Mystic Light system. And then we have our RAM going in through IQ. And cording all of that was a little bit of a nightmare, but luckily we're only working with pretty much two different colors or two different hues. And I think it's time for a montage and then we'll explain how the PC actually works. Hell yeah. That's the beginning of the montage is hell yeah. Can you get a little more energy? Let's do one more time, one more time. Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> ah! Behold, my friends, the bluest gaming PC we've done yet. Not that we've ever tried to do this in the past. One of the big things I want to talk about is the processor that we use. This is the first time we've built a system with the brand new 12th generation Intel Core processors. There are some pros and cons to this approach. The pro is that this is pretty much the best gaming and sort of overall sort of media encoding processor that is anything short of like a Xeon or a Threadripper. You have eight performance cores, which are hyper-threaded, as well as eight efficiency cores for a total of 16 legit cores and 24 total threads. That, while it certainly does not come cheap, does deliver a lot of performance. But it is a little bit more complicated than just going for straight Core i9, slap it in there and call it a day. On the surface, Core i9s and i7s and i5s, they'll have more chips coming later next year or early next year that don't have overclocking, the little bit more budget friendly stuff. They are very powerful and yet they're very power hungry. Generally speaking, it is going to be more efficient when you actually load it up with games and 3D rendering applications. Now, specifically for this system with the Core i9, while we could have gotten away with something like maybe a 240 millimeter radiator, much below that, you can start running into throttling. You need a lot of cooling to keep one of these processors running, especially considering that you're gonna throw something like a 3070, 3080, or 3090 in the system. It can get toasty. The other side is price. So we opted to eventually go with the Core i9 paired with DDR4 memory. Now for the maximum performance, we would have gone with the DDR5 board as well as DDR5 RAM. That's certainly great if you've got the money for it. But what is a little bit harder to compare is if you're looking at AMD versus Intel. The Intel chips might be roughly the same price as the AMD, but the boards are very expensive on Intel for the moment just come out, and you also have to spend a lot of money to get that DDR5 memory. Inside this blue system though, I am very happy with how it came out. Not only does it have plenty of performance to run the very many RGB programs we have, and of course the world's greatest web browser, our channel sponsor Opera, I mean, <laughs> you've, you've seen this wallpaper, right? I mean, clearly you need the most powerful PC in the world to gaze at this beauty, link in the description. But of course, thank you very much to Micro Center for sponsoring this video. If you wanna go check out the new Tustin store, they have tons of deals going on over the next couple of weeks. And if you wanna know about any of the components that we used for this build, the links will be in the description. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go back to Tustin and move in permanently. That's it, that's the joke. I live in Micro Center now. I'm not even kidding. I'm sorry, honey, that you had to find out this way, but you just don't have the RGB I need.